I'm Kate. Um, Liam uh, sends his apologies. He wasn't able to be here today. Um, I'm going to show a couple of short films today as I talk. Um, Liam and I make films and objects. Um, most of the films are too long to show um, here. So, um, But I hope that the films that I'm going to show give a sense of our work um, over the next 10 minutes. Um, the first film is part of a film we made to accompany an exhibition of our work called The Dark Side of the City. Uh, I'll run this in the background while I outline a bit of an overview of the Unknown Fields as a project. And then the second shows some footage from one of our projects, which is from a recent expedition through India, uh, and some scenes from an upcoming film called Unravel, which explores the fast fashion supply chain. Um, so I hope that that's uh, relevant to the discussion today. And I guess just broadly what we're interested in um, is trying to articulate the, the full nature of the site of operation for designers, um, which I think is relevant today. Okay, we can hit the video. <laughs> this city dreams. It dreams of glittering things and far off places. The city casts shadows that stretch across the planet. This is a journey through the landscapes conjured into being by the city's wants and needs, fears and dreams. This city is made of a constellation of elsewheres. The traces of distant mountains that walk the streets are forgotten in pockets, lurk under bath under, in bathrooms and under beds. Its deepest desires in its most fanciful whim, the small acts of millions carve canyons and forge mountains in distant worlds. So Unknown Fields undertakes expeditions into the shadows that are cast by the contemporary city to uncover the alternative worlds, the alien landscapes, the industrial ecologies, the precious wilderness set in motion by the powerful push and pull of the world's desires. The dislocated landscapes we survey, the iconic and the ignored, the excavated, irradiated and the pristine are connected to our everyday lives in surprisingly and surprising and complicated ways. They're embedded in global systems that form a vast network of elusive tendrils twisting thread-like over everything around us, crisscrossing the planet, connecting the mundane to the extraordinary. From our expeditions to these sites, we make objects and films which explore the dispersed and often absurd narratives that coalesce to form the contemporary city. Our material things set in motion vast planetary-scale infrastructure they carve holes like canyons, they move mountains, they remake our world from the scale of the pixel to the scale of the planet. Our city casts shadows that stretch far and wide. And these are the tales from the dark side of the city, stories from a notional road trip through a shadow city that spans the earth. We're creating a portrait of a place that sits between documentary and fiction, a city that's made of fragments of other places. It's a reverse journey from shop floor to raw material, stitched together using footage from some of the places that Unknown Fields have visited over the years. And across the last nine years, um, we've take, undertaken 14 expeditions through these uh, distributed territories uh, that lie behind the scenes of the contemporary city. Aboard a cargo ship, following the trails of our electronics through South China seas, the shipping ports, factory floors and rare earth excavations of China, on a dust blo blown road trip through the gold and aluminium mines of the Australian out outback, through the irradiated wild wilderness of Chernobyl exclusion zone, to the precarious wilderness and the wild west gemstones of Madagascar, through lithium fields and charged landscapes of Bolivia and Chile, and the climate changed landscapes of far north Alaska all to sites on the edge of the world where our technologies begin and end their lives. So the, the film is made of drone footage and hidden camera investigations of interviews and speculative narratives and of toxic objects, reimagined landscapes 
and distributed matter from different sites. Um, and I'm going to narrate one of those stories um, in a second, which connects these landscapes uh, not just to the contents of your pockets, um, like your phone um, or the diamonds on your rings, but to the pockets themselves. So this is India. A camera flashes, a model pouts, a sharp cheekbone and a whip of a hip catches the eye on the catwalk. Fast fashion's rolling tide dumps mountains of cheap clothing on the high street shores. Objects of desire, worn for one wild night and destined to be discarded. Our second skin and identity statement, our comfort and costume, our clothes reveal and camouflage in power and in prison. So we pick at a loose thread on the garment we're wearing and unravel it across continents, from wardrobe to warehouse, from factory to field, in search of the landscapes behind the runway dreams and street blue jeans. Before we wear them, our clothes make journeys of tens of thousands of miles in their process of production, making textiles the most globalized industry on the planet and most polluting after oil. T-shirt cities and textile valleys span from field to factory, harvesting vast cotton crops and silkworm cocoons, and draw yarns across deafening shuttles as rows and rows of automated looms weave the fashion fads of a distant world. Here, iconic rivers run with the colours of the season as chemical used in the dye processes are dumped untreated to poison the land along their rainbow banks. These are the unseen effects of the fast fashion supply chain as we follow it through the cotton fields, textile mills, dye yards, garment factories, and shipping ports of India and Bangladesh. And the result of this pace and scale of production is the destruction of the very thing that brought the industry to this region in the first place. This is the last generation of master weavers, a group whose skills now die with them. The apprentices they would once train now man the rumbling mechanised looms of global fashion, raw cotton plugging their ears <coughs> to the din around them. And the last real gold thread maker, an alchemist, lovingly tweaking his machine the machine his grandfather made, resisting the move to cheap synthetic yarns used by everyone around him. Unknown Fields developed a film and co collaborative textile work that reveals the way traditional craftsmanship in the textile industry is being put at risk by the disposable nature of fast fashion. Working with the last gold thread maker and one of the last true master weavers in Varanasi to make the work. So we used audio from a series of interviews with these craftsmen uh, and the sound of their looms was translated into binary pattern um, that was woven, woven into a gold cloth um, as a, a textile artwork. Um, and then in this way the textile becomes an archive encoded with the skills and stories of a dying craft and woven from the same hands it's trying to remember. Um, to make the thread for the textiles uh, we followed the container ships that bring fast fashion to our shores all the way to the end uh, after their short short 25 year lifespan uh, when the ships returned to india and bangladesh to be broken up and salvaged in the ship breaking yards um, so we collected fragments of this raw steel from the bangladeshi shores um, cut from rusting carcasses of dead ships um, to form the core of the gold thread so the textile becomes an archive born from the skeletons of the industry that brought it into being.
And the film we made, um, of which th these are a few kind of short clips of scenes, follows a young Indian woman wrapped in this gold cloth. Um, she's walking slowly on a procession from the cotton fields uh, to the huge mills and factories of the vast textile industry supply chain where she works. Her journey suggests uh, a walk along the fashion catwalk um, and the path of our that our disposable fashion takes in its global production. But also, um, we wanted to suggest the path that so many women like her have taken in moving from the villages to the factories in the city to work. As she walks, she's gradually wrapped in the glistening gold cloth um, and bears witness to a series of transformations um, we weaving, dyeing, sewing, pressing. And the film set to the rhythm of the handloom, which I think you can just about hear. Um, slowing fast fashion, the film's in slow motion, down to the pa a pace of production that the planet can sustain. Um, so we wanted to talk about the, the time it takes to make, uh, to hand weave something. Her journey ends as she stands cocooned in the cloth at the huge container port amongst the mega container ships that export to the west. So for Unraveled, we've delved into the dressing up box and into the wild and whimsical, weird and wicked world of fashion to look deep beyond what's reflected in its shimmering gilded mirror. Behind the parties and the cash registers, the textile industry is remaking the world. Between the scale of the stitch and the planetary supply chain, in glittering gold, we weave new connections and reimagine the relationships between consumption and production. That's it, thank you.